In this demo, we'll explore how to use Azure Machine Learning to train, evaluate, deploy, and test a machine learning model, all using its automated machine learning feature. But before we begin, we need an Azure Machine Learning workspace. A workspace is your central environment for managing machine learning resources. To create it, let's sign in into the Azure portal and provision a workspace. Now let's navigate to the portal.azure.com and after signing in, we're going to click on create a resource here. And then we're going to search for Azure Machine Learning. We can click on Azure Machine Learning here and click on Create. We're going to select the subscription and from here, I'm going to select the resource group AI 900 and I'm going to give it a name. And then let's click on Networking, I'm going to keep it public. Encryption, we're not going to bring our own key and on the ID. Identity, we're going to keep the storage account access type as credential based access, no tags, and let's review and create. Validation passed. Let's click on create. Deployment might take one or two minutes to finish. Now the deployment is complete, we can click on go to resource and we see everything good. We can launch studio here, which is take us to the AI studio portal, or we can just go ml.azure.com, which take us to the same place. We got to provide Pick an account. And we are in. It's loading the workspaces. Perfect. Same thing. And our automated ML in here, we're just going to create a new automated ML job. The job name is created for us. We're going to give it a name here. We're going to call it bike rental for this example. Description, we're just going to give it a automated machine learning for bike rental prediction. We're not going to provide any tags. Then here we're going to select the type, we're going to select regression, and we're going to create a new data set. Let's give it a name for the data asset, like rental, description, historic, bike rental data, and the type we're going to keep it ML table. Let's click on next. I'm going to load from a local file. I already have it downloaded here. And I also like the default Azure blob storage. And let's click on next. I'm going to upload the folder here. So this one, I'm going to click upload and then click on next and create. Now the asset is created, I'm just going to click on here and click on next. And then the type is regression, the data is there. We're just going to make sure that is the target column is rental integers, the last one. And under view additional, we're just, if you have this one unchecked or checked, just make sure they're unchecked and are under loud models, 
choose the random forest and light GBM. Click on save. And under the limits, we're just going to make the max trials of three, max concurrent trials of three, max nodes three. The score threshold is 0 0.085. Experiment timeout is 15. Iteration timeout is 15 minutes. Under the validation and tests, we're just going to make sure that is train validation split and 10 and test data is none. We're going to select serverless, CPU, dedicated, DS3 V2 is good, instance is one, that's fine, and then submit training job. This may take a while to finish. Now the deployment is complete. Shown the status completed. In here, under metrics, we see the explained variance, other things like the mean absolute percentage error. If we click on the model here, we see the algorithm name, the Ansible details, as well as the other things and the metrics here. We see the residual histograms and the predicted true values. Let's go back to model in here and let's deploy and test. Again, I select real time endpoint. We're going to keep the instant count as three. Virtual machine, feel free to change that as you see needed. We're going to create a new endpoint. We're going to keep the endpoint name as default since it needs to be globally unique. Deployment name is the same thing. We're going to keep the inner fencing data collection disabled. Package modeling is disabled as well. All right, click on deploy. This might take five to 10 minutes to finish. Now the deployment is complete. Let's exit out of this. You see everything is completed, status completed, created on and created by the inputs here, which is that's the X, uh, asset URI and the outputs as well. And the metrics here. So let's go test it out. We can do that by navigating to the endpoints here and then click on the job name. And then let's click on test. I have a code that I already have in here. I'm going to just paste it in test. All right, we got the 372. So basically what we have done is we use the historical bicycle rental data to train a model and the model predicts the number of bicycle rentals expected on a given day based on seasonal and meteorological features. So here you go, we got the 372. This is basically the value that are expected for rental on a given day.